I was just passing by, and I just had to stop. I'm completely famished after a long morning. Could I please get one hot dog? It smells amazing. Well, you've come to the right place. One authentic hot dog right off the grill for you. That'll be five cents. Go. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course. You are, miss. Enjoy and have a nice day. Oh, it's just mushy and slimy. Mm. It looks kind of suspicious up close. And this smells funky too now. What did I just pay five cents for? This time in America, the markets are flooded with misbranded and falsely advertised items. Every corner, giant production factories are putting in numerous of questionable chemicals in their products to make them last longer and taste better. These massive food packing operations in cities such as Chicago resemble something out of a horror novel. Rust and crust machinery dripping oil and fat everywhere. There are also piles of stinking meat scraps left to fester, which were attracting swarms of roaches and rat dewar, which exposed food prep areas to contamination. These greedy barons cut every corner imaginable using rotten meat, sawdust fillers, and much more. As long as profits kept soaring in, why spend money on quality control, food safety, or consumer health? You'd be wrong to say that people were okay with this. There was months of public outrage, public expression of anger. People were fed up with their foods being misbranded and falsely advertised. I would be fed up too. Can you imagine being an American and not knowing what you're buying? Imagine buying a jug of maple syrup and not knowing whether it actually contains maple sap or just an imitation filler. It was a dangerous time. This is just the beginning of the list of dangerous shortcuts that companies took to increase their profit margins while also maintaining high consumer appeal. After decades of unchecked industry monopolies, dominated by few powerful capitalists, Congress finally passed the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906, establishing real federal oversight and legal protections, where once there were none. This legislation truly heralded a new era of consumer rights, accountability, and public health in America. The Pure Food and Drug Act was an incredible, revolutionary piece of legislation. Not only did it give the consumers of America some sort of protection, it also ended the laissez-faire practices of giant conglomerates. False advertisement quick cure-alls could be penalized under misbranding clauses. For the first time, Full disclosure of ingredients and processing was required on packaging, so buyers could make informed choices. It fundamentally changed the landscape, forcing companies to make a, to make public health a priority over unchecked profits. A new era of transparency and accountability dawned for the food and drug ad industries. The Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 not only stopped the influx of misbranded and falsely advertised items, it also gave us, as American consumers, a sense of protection.